Yeah, hi everyone. So in the previous video, we saw how uh, we built a strategy to uh, create an application where we can uh, chat with our PDF. So uh, in this video, we will uh, do a quick setup for our application to start building. Uh, so we will be building the application uh, in Next.js and we will use uh, Tailwind and uh, Tailwind CSS. So I just ran this command uh, npx create next app latest and then the name of the project that i have given is uh, yeah the name of the panel is quickly show uh, paperboard and i'm not using typescript no eslint tailwind css yes and i'm not using app router uh, we are going with the page route and uh, yeah once uh, the project is ready uh, i have opened that project uh, here in my editor now uh, i have uh, all the dependencies that we will be uh, using in this project so i have just copied it uh, with myself so over here you can see uh, we will be using mongodb as mostly we will use mongodb cluster uh, if you have mongodb installed on your uh, local so maybe you can use that as well to save the file uh, the file that will be uploaded uh, to save it we will not save it locally as uh, it will create a problem if you are using with uh, i mean next the next year serverless functions anyhow it's never a good idea to keep the files locally on the server. Uh, there are many reasons for that. So uh, following the best practice, we'll save it somewhere else. So we will use uh, AWS S3. Uh, if you have any other service available with you, maybe you can use that. We'll use OpenAI, of course, for embeddings and for uh, uh, the completions. Uh, Pinecone is the vector database and uh, we they have a uh, uh, Node.js client. So this is the package name, uh, Pinecone uh, database Pinecone. Then to read the PDF, we will use pdfjs-dist and uh, uh, I am using this specific version because with the latest version I saw some, some issues so I downgraded it to this version. Formidable serverless, we will be sending uh, form data from the front end and then with formidable we will be extracting the file. Then React Hot Toast we will use for uh, toast for displaying the toast success and error. React icons for icons, slugify to generate a slug. Uh, using which we'll create an index in Pinecone and SWR uh, we will use for um, fetching uh, mostly for getting or fetching the data from the server so we'll keep it I'll, I have just uh, hit enter and it'll keep installing uh, bef uh, till, till time it is installing I'll quickly go through uh, one by one all the three setups uh, that we need first is S3 which we will use for uh, storing all the files that uh, the user will upload so if you do not have AWS account, you can create it. It's very simple. And uh, uh, once it is created, you can look for the services here, or you can even search for S3 and you can uh, you can come to this page. S3 provides this bucket to uh, serve files. So over here, you can see uh, we have, uh, yeah, uh, there might not be any bucket. So you just have to create a new bucket and you can name it anything you want. I have named it as paperbot uh, hyphen files. A uh, few things that we have to keep in mind is that uh, I'll go through the properties. Uh, I think properties is fine. I think it was in secure permissions. Yeah, so in permissions, I have uh, unchecked all. Like uh, when, if you're creating a new bucket, you can just uncheck all uh, and, uh, and then uh, to give the public access. And in the bucket policy, you will have to add uh, the action as get object. Otherwise, uh, when we will read the file, it will... Uh, from the code uh, it will be a problem so once this is created uh, the next thing is uh, once the bucket is created the next thing that we want is the access keys uh, the, that's basically kind of a username password kind of thing so uh, you can go to iam here you can i think iam and in here you can go and create any create a user i have one user uh, this is the user that I have uh, logged in with and then I have given it the admin privileges. It has administrator access, it has full access. Now to get the uh, keys, you'll have to go to security credentials and uh, come to access keys. And then you just have to create access key. It will generate a key uh, and uh, uh, the credentials. So you just have to copy it. And uh, yeah, and I have... Uh, the environment variables all the environment variables that we will need in this project so i'll just uh, copy this i'll put it in the project and i'll create a file dot env 
and I will just paste it. Yeah, so over here, you'll put the name of the bucket. Over here, after getting the access credentials, we'll put the access ID and access key. So that's it uh, will be for AWS. We'll, uh, that's the, uh, I mean, uh, nothing else we need from the AWS website. Next, we will go to MongoDB cluster. Like if you have uh, MongoDB installed on you locally, you can use that. Or if you wish to use some other database, that's fine. Uh, any SQL database, even that is fine. But if you're using MongoDB and if you prefer MongoDB cluster, so you can just log in and uh, there is a free plan. I think it is M0. So uh, you can choose that. And uh, once you come to this page, uh, we'll go to browse collections. And in the browse collections, uh, currently I don't have any. So instead of load the sample data, we'll go with add my own data. And the name of the database, uh, it is paperbot. And the collection name is my files. Uh, I mean, the model that I'll create in Mongoose with Mongoose is my file. So this will be, I uh, named it, is, uh, named it uh, my files. So once uh, this is uh, this is done, so maybe uh, once the database and everything is created, we can go to database and click on connect. And over here, we'll click on drivers. And from here, you can just copy this uh, MongoDB uh, URL and uh, you can just save it for later. You can maybe paste it somewhere and we'll use it later on and uh, uh, the it will give us the username and password like password when you will create the uh, your account it will give you a username and password for your uh, cluster so you can just copy uh, you can just copy those username and password and in your environment variables you can put the database username and password next is open AI, open ai api key so open ai api key uh, uh, will will before that we'll just create Pinecone. Yeah, so pinecone.io is the app that uh, we have to go. And then over there, we'll just log in. And uh, after we log in, uh, it, it, it has, uh, it'll give us uh, a free plan, a paid plan. So you can choose free plan. And then once it is created, you can come here with API keys. So over here, you can see we have environment and value. So over here in the environment variables, we have environment and a key. So these two values, we can just copy paste. And open AI. Uh, for the uh, open AI so we can go to openai.com uh, maybe in the maybe we can go to API reference I think I'm already logged in yeah I'm logged in so we can go to manage account oh sorry uh, view API keys from here you can click on this create new API key if you don't have one and uh, we can just copy paste the open AI uh, API key so um, all of our environment variables uh, are uh, ready all of our uh, uh, services are ready like the mongo da database pinecone vector database and uh, s3 for the files openai so all these things are ready so now i think we can move ahead uh, and start coding